Hello and welcome back to this series I'm doing on Podia. We have already created an online course. We have also created a digital download. We have created a sales page for the same. We have shown you how to create coupons. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a home page. Right now, if I go to my home page, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely blank. And if you see at the top, right now I'm at my domain which is thebindyiq.com. So in the previous videos or one of the previous video, I showed you how to attach your custom domain. It took a bit of time or the DNS settings took a bit of time to get through. But now you can see my website is hosted on my domain or it's rather linked to my domain rather than having something like koshal1.podia.com or thebindyiq.podia.com. So there is no podia.com here. This is absolutely my website now. And anyone who wants to or anyone who would be searching for the bindyiq.com will be brought right to my website. But if he's brought to this website, he'll absolutely go crazy and run away because there is absolutely nothing on my homepage. So in this video, we'll be trying to create some dummy content on my homepage. And in order to create or in order to change anything on any page, you can simply head over to your Podia dashboard or Podia login, move to the absolute right where your name will be shown hit the drop down and click on this edit site button. So this is the place where you can change most of the settings. Now I've already shown you how to change such settings in the sales page creation video. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it because most of the settings will remain the same. I'll start off with creating some content and in order to create any content inside a page, you can simply add this plus button right here. If I just click on this plus, you'll get the option of adding a new section. Now, a new section could be any of these sections. Let's start off with a simple text. Now, this text could say who we are. You can talk a little bit about yourself. I'll just add some dummy content. So this is the text section. You can add a button also if you want. In this case, I do not want to add a button, but I've shown you how to add a button. I'll just go to the design. And I'll change the design to be a little bit different from this header because if I just move out from it, this looks like the same thing because both are white. I'll just change it to a little bit of a lighter background so that it's differentiated from the header. Let's add another section. Now we've already seen most of these sections. So I'll take you through them one by one very quickly. But if you want to go into the details, you can head over to the video on sales page creation in Podia. That would be a good place to start. Now we've already seen the bio. And we have all also created a bio. So this is how the bio looked like. If I go inside design, let me quickly change the design and I'll make it to a modern right, modern left. In between these two sections, I would want my products to appear. And for that, I'll choose this product list. Now, every page you create in Podia will have sections available. Now, not all options will be available on all pages in Podia. For example, on in, inside the home page, we have the option of this product list. However, if I move to some other page, I won't be having that option. I'll show that to you quickly. I'll just click on publish. And if I move to some other page right from this editor, I'll see those options. Now, in order to move to some other page, all you have to do is click on this page name right here and you get all the options of all the pages you have created. So we have created two of our courses. And if I select one of these course pages, as you can see, this is what we created. Now, if I add another section, and I try to find that products option, you see it is not available. In fact, for this page, we have the option of product banner and table of contents, which was not available in, in the home page. All in all, every page will have a page only options of sections. It will have a shared section. It will have a basic section and it will have a collection section. So let's move back to my home page and I'll just click on home page again. I'll select this plus once again to create a new section again you can see we have a page only options we have a shared option basic and collection so the collection basic and shared remain common across pages but the page specific sections are available depending upon what page you are on so inside home page you would want to have your product list let's click that and we have a section created but right now nothing is shown because we have not selected which products we want to display on our home page I'll select both of these so that it's available. Now we can move it up or down so that we can have different sections show in different order. In this case, I want 
to have the options just like this. It looks good to me. Now there are two design modes for this product list. I'll just go to the design. You can see we have a list view, which we are seeing right now. We also have a grid view. So if you want your products to look something like this, you can do that. I'll go back to the content because you can see we do not have any content written right here. That's what we'll do very quickly inside the ebook. We'll give it a short description. So this is the description I want. Now it looks a little bit aligned with the course on the left. With this done, I can click on publish to have the changes record right away. Let's move on to the section below it. Now I want to differentiate this section from this section. And for that, what I'll do is just make this section a little bit dark. So I'll just go back, go back to the design and I'll choose a dark theme. So I want my, I always tend to have my products on a darker background so that it pops up even more. And if you're moving from top to bottom, all the white portions are where your text is. The dark portion is where you have the option of purchase. So I'll have it at black. Let's move down. Let me add a few more sections. I'll add a newsletter section quickly and I'll change the design option to be a lighter theme so that it gets differentiated. Again, I have shown you how to create all these in the sales page video creation. So I won't be dwelling deeper into it. Let's say I have only these options to choose from and I'll click on publish. Also just a tip, whenever you're creating a homepage, try or whenever you're creating a website in general, try and avoid these extra links which you see. Now this may seem counterintuitive, but this is a concept in online sales that you would want to have your audience funneled through some kind of a specific route. So you do not want to give them too many options that they venture into an about us page, then they venture into a testimonials page, they venture into a contact us page and they forget what they're here for or what you want them to be here for. So in general, what do you want your audience to do when they come to your website? Now in most of the cases, or at least in most of the successful online course creation cases, you would want your audience to come to your website and purchase one of your courses, or they would come to your website and join your email address list. That's it. That is what you want them to be funneled into. Even having two courses shown here is a bit over the top when it comes to funnel design. And I'll be taking you through the funnel design concept in another video. For now, try and avoid links at the top. Now, if you want to have links into at the top, you can of course use this header option right here, which I've showed you in the design. You can add new links from right here. So if I add a new link, you can see a link appears. I do not want that. So I'll just get out of it and I'll click to close it. So this is how my website looks or my homepage looks right now. So I'll, I'll just publish it and I'll click on view site. So my website looks okay. And I've done whatever I wanted to do. I could have done better, but in the short time and the demo that it is, this is good enough. Now there is one issue, which if you have noticed on the top inside the tab, my name is shown instead of my website or any other thing. So it should either be showing as a home page or at least my website name right now it's showing my name which i don't don't really need or don't really want to change that or to change any such things all you have to do is go back to podia where you are editing your website go back to this home page option click on it move down to whichever page settings you want to change and click on this little cog on the right where it says page settings once you click on it you get the option to choose the title so this is the title which appears right here so in this case, I want the title to be the binary IQ homepage and I can put in a search description as well. So this is the description which will be available in the search results as well as what will be available in the shared links. So I put in a small search description. You can also add a preview image. I'll quickly do that as well. And just like that, I have made the changes. Now in order to publish those changes, I'll click on publish. And once it's published, if I click on visit site now, you can see I'm getting the name as the binary IQ homepage instead of my name shown here. So you can decide for yourself which one looks more professional. And these are the little bits and pieces which help you gain a lot of trust from your audience. Now this is a very small thing to do, but a little thing like this can make or break your sale. And you would want to have all your sales come through. Now a person wouldn't want to come to your website and see this lorem ipsum on your website. So whenever you're creating your website, do your due diligence 
do not worry too much about the design because you can see Podia does a very good job in designing your site. All you have to do is provide a good content. So you'll have to provide a good bio. You'll have to provide a good description to your course. You'll have to provide a good description about what you are, who you are, what you do and stuff like that. At the end of the day, Podia is giving you all the tools of creating a great website, creating a great learning management system and giving you the option of doing that very quickly. If you do like Podia and if you want to check them out, you can find the link down in the description below. Also, if you like this video, do not forget to hit that like button. It really, really helps with the motivation as well as the YouTube algorithm. Finally, if you're not already subscribed, do hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you do not miss any videos in the future. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.